guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today i am showing you three different ways to warm up your acheke acheke is an ivorian food and it's cassava couscous usually when you buy it wherever you're gonna buy it, you buy it in a bag like that it's already made tied up in a bag like that and it's frozen because they keep it in the freezer and if you buy it as well you usually normally you should store it in your freezer and the day you want to eat it Take it out the day before and allow it to defrost at room temperature. Okay guys, so here is the first method. You put your bag of acheke in the microwave, put it on five minutes or more until it's hot enough, then you remove it from the plastic bag. Now, I understand plastic can be toxic sometimes, so if you can avoid this method, avoid it. And just what you have to do, Break down your achike in a bowl, add a bit of water to it, mix it well until it becomes like couscous and put it back in your microwave, cover it obviously and leave it to heat up in a microwave and you have a warm hot achike. So this is the first method. But honestly, when I'm very, very tired, when I don't have time at all, this is what I do. I'll just pop the bag in the microwave and eat it up like that. I don't do that often though. Thank you guys so much for understanding me. <laughs> so this is it and then you get your nice achike. This is the easiest method, the quickest, yes, not the best actually in texture and in the method as well, but it's the easiest and the quickest. So you still get your achike and you still get to enjoy it. So here is the second method and the second method is the pan method. So you're going to pour it in your pan, obviously defrosted, yes, it shouldn't be frozen like I said. Anyhow you're going to warm it up, it has to be defrosted at room temperature before you proceed to any method you want to use. So here you pour it in your pan, you use your fingers clean fingers yes obviously and break everything down as much as possible until it all becomes like couscous just like couscous once that is done you're gonna add a little bit of water to it mix it very well and allow it to heat on low heat low heat not high heat or you will burn your achike low heat is the best allow it on low heat it's gonna take time yes because it's on low heat but yes that's what you want you want the good acheke nicely warmed up so after that you're gonna mix it nicely while it's on low heat you keep mixing you keep mixing until it's hot until it's nice and fluffy <laughs> Here we have the third method and the best for me, yes, because this is how acheke is originally made. So this will bring you closer and closer to the original acheke, yes, original, you know, that fresh, it will give you the freshest, <laughs> can I say so? Is that a word? The freshest acheke you will have, yes. <laughs> So here you will have to break it down with your fingers the same way you did for the pan method but this one you will do it in a bowl, in a different bowl yeah. and once you get that couscous texture you are going to put your steamer on heat and add water in there, allow the water to start boiling once the water is boiling add your acheke, pour your acheke in the basket there yeah. 
and do not touch it yet because the holes in there are quite big they are bigger than their chicken so it's gonna sink so to avoid that leave it like that for one or two minutes yes while it's boiling just to allow the bottom to firm up a bit and to allow it to start steaming and then after a minute or two you can use a wooden spoon and start mixing it nicely and you will notice that the bottom has started you know it's starting to stick to come together nicely mix it a bit and then allow it to rest again spread it to make sure it covers all the the holes all the pan and then allow it to rest again for another one or two minutes then mix it again then allow it to rest again until you get that hot nice and fluffy achike <laughs> Okay guys, so here I just want to mention something with the first two methods is good but the thing is, for example, if you warm up your achike and you don't eat it you, know, you don't eat everything at once and there, you have some left there and you want to leave it on your counter table and maybe eat it the next day with the first two methods, it's most likely that it's going to harden a bit you're going to have to add some water and warm it up again the next day the same way you did that first day yes but with this method of the steamer if you keep it and you don't eat everything and you keep some the next day you should be able to eat it without having to warm it up again it should still be nice and fluffy like that obviously you keep it in a closed container yeah yes so this is it Acheke is that food that you can eat with anything and when I say anything, I mean anything. That's our favorite food in Ivory Coast. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet. Don't forget to like, comment and share and see you in my next video. Bye!